Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how much paint you should be putting down for your layers in the Shelly Art Bloom technique. I'm going to show you the pillow paint, pouring medium and cell activator. And I'm going to show you a quick tip that's going to help you put down the right amount of paint every single time. So let's get to it. So here I have a 4x4 inch square tile. This is just a plain ceramic gloss tile and this is what I use to make my coasters. For a tile this size, one and a half tablespoons of pillow paint is perfect. So I'm going to show you one and a half tablespoons worth. Thereabouts. The pillow paint should cover two thirds of your surface and remember that the corners take up more area than the sides. So one and a half tablespoons of pillow paint is perfect for a four by four inch tile. Next, the amount of color you need to add on top is about half a tablespoon. So it's very hard to measure when you're just drizzling colors on, but that's about what I estimate. Could be as much as one tablespoon, but you definitely need at least half a tablespoon of paint. So I'll list the colors that I use on the screen and in the description below. But I am using Josonia's Naphthol Crimson Light, this little piggy Sockeye, this little piggy Mango, Matisse Dioxazine Purple, this little piggy Nightfall, Matisse Magenta Quin Light, and this little piggy harvest gold. Now my pillow paint is at a five second trace and my pouring medium is at a three second trace. I've got a video explaining consistency and what I mean by what uh, trace is left. So check that out and you'll understand what I'm talking about. Next, the cell activator. I'm gonna put an Australian five cent coin worth of cell activator on this piece. That's about one inch across. I'm gonna blow this out using my mini blower. You can see some gorgeous cells and lacing forming there. Just going to give it a minute for that cell activator in the middle to develop. And then I'm going to blow it out so I can expand that cell activator outwards. Gentle puffs to open up that cell activator. go. Give it an initial spin to get some of that extra paint off. I like to scrape down the sides as I go. I keep this paint to use as pillow paint for future projects. And spin to get enough paint off the surface. I'm tilting here to make sure I've got enough paint off. And when the center of that cell activator doesn't move, you know you spun off enough. Next we have a six by six inch canvas. For a canvas this size, I estimate about a half a cup of, of pillow paint is perfect. Pour that into the center. Now, for a regular six by six inch canvas, this would be enough. As I'm using one with deeper sides, I'm just going to add another quarter of a cup to make sure that I can cover all of those sides, corners and edges. There we go. Next, 
our paints. For colours, you want about two tablespoons worth of colour in the middle to make sure that they spread far enough that you're not going to end up with crazy and cracking or flocculation. Going on with my Josonia's Naphthol Crimson Light. This little piggy sock eye. This little piggy mango. And I'm really layering these paints on thick so I know that I have enough on there. Matisse Dioxazine Purple again. This little piggy Nightfall. Matisse Magenta Quin Violet. And this little piggy Harvest Gold. Going back in with my white cell activator. And blowing that out with my blower. And there we have a canvas that is covered both on the top and on all sides and corners. So again, a 6x6 six six inch canvas takes about 3 quarters of a cup of pillow paint and about 2 tablespoons worth of coloured paint. Lastly, I'll demonstrate how much paint is required for an 8x8 eight eight inch canvas. Now, when you go up to bigger size canvases, the ratio of paint that you need doesn't always scale. So there's a handy little trick that I like to employ that allows me to get the right amount of paint on the canvas every single time. And I'll show you what that is. So if I start off with a half cup of paint in the center of my canvas, because that's what I had left in my little cup, you can clearly see that's nowhere near enough. So when I use larger canvases, I pour to cover almost the entire surface, especially on a square one. And I stop just as the pillow paint starts to reach one edge. Then I'll tilt my pillow around until I can see where that center is moving. Now I only have the corners left untouched. The reason I like to do it this way is because you can always add a little bit more pillow paint on the corners after you've blown out your bloom. That will just help it all to roll and spread evenly. So the amount of pouring medium colours that you need is about four to five tablespoons worth of colour. Yes, that is quite a lot, but you do have a much larger surface to work with and the paint has to travel all the way to the edges and down the sides. Again, these colours are Jo Sonia Naphthol Crimson Light, this little piggy sock eye, this little piggy mango, Matisse Dioxazine Purple, this little piggy Nightfall, this 
Matisse Magenta Queen Violet. And this little piggy Harvest Gold. Now what I've done here is I've split my two colours, the pink and the purple, on either side of the uh, colour puddle. And that's going to, should give me a split colour when I blow this out. Now the amount of cell activator you want to use is almost the same size as that uh, gold that I've put down. So I would say an Australian 50 cent piece or about a two inch size piece of cell activator. Now a handy little trick that you can employ there, if you have one of the smallest blowers, is you can put your fingers over the vent to control how much air is coming out of them. They also come with a nozzle for finer pointed uh, detail blowing. Now I can see that a lot of paint is flowing to this side of the painting, which tells me that I may have blown my pillow to one side, or that it may have been uneven to start with. So what I'll do is I'll just very gently lift up my piece, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, so that those ends are facing the other way, and I'm going to shuffle it down slightly, so it's off centre. What that will do is that will move my centre of gravity outwards and force all the paint this way. Alright, there we have it, another gorgeous bloom. Now you can still see all of that paint running down the side of that canvas, that will eventually drip off onto the table, onto my prepared puppy mats. <clears throat> so there you have it, that's how much paint you should be putting down on your surfaces for when you do the Shelley Art Bloom technique. A 4 by 4 inch tile, about 1.5 tablespoons of pillow paint, and about 1 tablespoon of your pouring medium, a little bit less is perfectly fine. For a 6 by 6 inch canvas, about three quarters of a cup of pillow paint is perfectly fine and about one tablespoon of pouring medium paint and for an eight by eight inch canvas you're looking at maybe two cups worth of paint it doesn't scale quite like we think it will so the best way to judge is to just flood your canvas with pillow paint and let it flow over the edges and then you can always add more if you need to afterwards for bigger pieces especially for longer canvases you want to put your pillow out in the middle spread it out with your hand to the edges so it's got something to flow over and again you can always add more after you've blown or swiped out your your piece i find with swipes you need a lot less pillow on your canvas or your surface because you don't want that to expand too much as you're putting down less pouring medium that paint can split if there's too much pillow underneath causing crazing and flocculation so that brings us to the end of the video i hope you stick around and enjoy the next one bye